Hello everyone. I wanted to do um, a sort of double review of two different project products um, because the other day I was watching a video on YouTube um, that had been uploaded by um, a chap whose channel name is JK Tabletop Wargaming, I think it is. Um, he had just recently finished constructing and painting some hurricanes uh, that were Svesta kits, 15mm uh, hurricanes that he was going to use for Flames of War. And it reminded me that um, I have quite a few 15mm planes um, that originally I was going to use for an aerial war game, um, check your six. Um, it's played on a hexed mat and 15mm uh, is a bit of an ambitious scale to do it in um, because you really do need um, quite a large stand to support the aircraft which means the hex sizes are quite large and that has the knock-on effect that the table you need to play on has to be quite large as well. Um, so when I stopped going to my local ward games club, that really ceased to be an option. Um, but I've still got all the planes um, because they are still going to come in useful for rules like Flames of War. Um, and also um, other, other sort of other scenario, other games like Bolt Action, even though they're not... You might be playing bolt action in 15 mil. There's no reason why you shouldn't. But with I, f I find with planes, it doesn't really matter if you're using a smaller scale plane to the scale of the figures that you're using on the table, um, because there's that um, height discrepancy and perspective um, discrepancy. You can get away with playing quite small planes on a on a on a table. Um, so you can use these for bolt action as well, um, and so on. But anyway, let me get back to the point. Um, I've got all the all the planes that I have are from a range called uh, Lil Flying Fockers, which um, are produced by Old Glory or marketed by Old Glory. Um, and th that was what struck me about J.K. Tabletop Wargaming's planes that he was constructing, that these these are much simpler, more basic kits. They don't come in that many parts. Um, you'll get a fuselage and the, the wings are all in one piece normally. Maybe a tail fin to stick on, maybe the tail, um, tail wings. Um, usually you have to stick on um, the armament. Um, they're a sort of resin mainly, but the, the, the armament and sometimes, um, uh, what do they call them, like gondoliers and things like that underneath the planes might be metal. Um, so they're much easier to put, put together um, and I think they produce a plane that's just as playable. Um, and there's a very extent. this is the other thing, they do a very, very extensive range. Um, there's what they do lots of World War One planes, lots of World War Two, and quite a few modern aircraft as well, um, MiG fighters and Huey uh, helicopters, that kind of thing. So um, I'm going to show you a few of those just to uh, recommend those to you. But the other thing, um, again, not a new product, but the other thing I wanted to review was the stands that um, I've put these planes on. Um, if you purchase the stands from Old Glory, they're not very uh, suitable, to be honest. They're, they're kind of ply square or rectangular, rather, plywood uh, bases, quite large, because they have to, as I say, they have to be large to support the weight of the planes, um, with a telescopic uh, rod, um, with a kind of alligator clip at the end and you, all you do is you press into the plane um, attack and then the alligator clip grabs it, p 
pinches it and holds it, holds it, you hope, firmly. But I, I found a lot of problems with those. One was that they were too large on the table, so they took up too much space on the table. Um, they didn't support the planes brilliantly anyway. And the pin that you suck into the plane was very insecure and the clip didn't always grab it in the way that you wanted it, wanted it to. Um, so I, I searched around on the internet and I found a company um, in America called Omnistand, who are, I think are absolutely brilliant. Um, I'll show you, you can buy their stands in all kinds of variants. I, I purchased hexed stands um, because I was, as I say, I was playing check, I was intending to play check your six, so I needed hexed bases. Um, let me show you what you need in order to, 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 to put the whole thing together. Um, you need a stand of some kind. Now, Omni Stand do all sorts of um, shaped stands, and a lot of them are etched um, so that you can use specific uh, War Games rules for them, such as. I don't think they actually say the name Wings of Glory, but to me, some of the stands look very suitable for Wings of Glory. Um, the rods themselves um, are telescopic, so they open up to about, I think that's probably about two foot. At the end of the rod, you can buy either, well, they're attached either to, you know, so you can't take them off, either to a kind of permanent, thread like that or you can buy ones that have a gimbal end so that you can um, put a, put magnets on the gimbal and and, uh, and another attachment that goes on under the plane and then you can um, position your planes at any attitude that you want but um, I know I know magnets are very safe nowadays but I, I'm a little bit wary of using magnets so what I went for was, um, a little permanent thread um, that you buy and you drill into the plane. So this is where plastic planes like that Svesta model might not be suitable, but resin kits you can easily drill um, a hole into the uh, base of the plane. That is cemented in permanently and then this part here just screws into that part there. So um, let me show you that. Um, so this is a ME109. Oh um, yeah, by the way, if, just to go back to the uh, little flying Fokkers uh, range for a moment, um, you can buy from Old Glory decals or generic decals for uh, German and British aircraft. Um, but not much else, so you've got to kind of source the decals from somewhere else yourself. What I did was made a lot my, of my own by just downloading images from the internet and reducing them in size and then printing them out. Um, so a lot of these decals are um, the generic ones from Old Glory, but I've also made a few of my own, such as the badges on the planes. I might show you those a little bit more closely in a moment. But anyway, you have to have this um, thread uh, drilled in and permanently installed in your plane. Um, as I say, plastic kits, that might you might have difficulty doing that because the plastic might fracture or crack. Um, but with resin planes, there's not a problem. Um, then the rod fits into the base, like so, and the other end just screws into the plane. Cross that a bit. That's not a good, not a good way of demonstrating the beauty of it. There we go, and you end up. With that, and as I say, the uh, the height can be adjusted up and down, so you can play aerial combat games, adjusting the altitude and so on, to your heart's content. 
So let me just uh, go back to these planes and show you them in a little bit more detail. So this is a Heinkel. Um, I have one of those. Um, a lot of the lettering and so on I copied from um, the internet and then just change the uh, change the letters and so on um, so I could get an idea of the scale um, the cockpits are integral to the kit so you have to paint them which I noticed JK tabletop wall gaming did anyway he painted over the clear plastic of his kit so he ended up with something that didn't look too dissimilar to this anyway so that's the Heinkel side. Then I have two Stukas. So these would be good um, ground attack aircraft for a game like bolt action or so on, but um, I, I think if I remember rightly, Flames of War, you need three planes. Um, and I only have two, but there you go. Um, so again, a few of these badges and things. I um, I made my own transfers for. I was quite pleased with those. Um, the other thing about the um, Omni stand as well is that you, you don't really need to buy a great many bases, um, just buy as many bases as you think you're going to need for all your aircraft and then as you expand into other periods and so on you can just transfer the rods and buy multiple um, packets of these sort of things so that you have the models with those permanently installed but you have a smaller number of the bases so that you've always got enough that you need and you just transfer them from one period to another. Um, so they're the Stukas. I uh, have two ME109s. another plane that will be useful as a ground attack on a, in a game like Bolt Action or Flames of War. And finally I've got three Spitfires. I don't know if I'll get all those in, in shot. Um, so there we are, I just wanted to show you those. Um, people are probably aware of the old glory range um, and maybe have uh, ignored it in the past, but it is a really good um, extensive range of aircraft and uh, I think they paint up quite well. But the Omni stand, it took me a little bit of searching to find them and I think they really deserve uh, a shout out. They're based in America so um, it's quite expensive to purchase uh, their products and get them shipped to the UK but if you're over in Canada or, or the UK or the US then um, check them out. I'll put a link to their website um, in the comments so that you can uh, you can f follow the link to their website and see all their products. So that's it all I wanted to do. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.